Elder abuse comes in many forms, including physical, emotional, and financial. Financial abuse is by far the most common form and includes any scam, scheme, or deception which steals money or personal information from a vulnerable senior. One of the most common types of financial abuse is known as the grandparent scam. Typically, with these scams, the con artist will call pretending to be a grandchild or other close relative or loved one, claiming they need money to get out of some kind of trouble. The perpetrators sometimes bring in a partner to play the role of an authority figure, such as a police officer or doctor, to make the story even more believable. They might also use names and include personal information easily found in obituaries or via social media to make the story even more convincing. Seniors should also be wary of scammers who pose as an authority figure, such as a police officer, lawyer, or tax auditor from the CRA. These scammers might threaten that money must be sent immediately if the senior wants to avoid arrest. Out of fear or confusion, seniors may comply with the request, falling victim to the scheme. There are similar phone and email scams involving phony charities and sometimes pyramid schemes. Seniors should be encouraged, whenever possible, to answer phone calls and emails only if they recognize the caller or sender. And, of course, as technology evolves, so do the scams. For example, con artists may use new technology to deceive seniors by creating what are known as spoof website pages or emails that mimic real sites and brands. Often, there are small indicators that can help you identify the site as fake if you look very carefully. But unless you're tech savvy, you may have no idea what to look for. The old adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, has never been more relevant. Fortunately, proper planning can help protect you. This includes having a will and power of attorney for property appointing someone you trust, such as RBC Estate and Trust Services, to act in your best interest. You are encouraged to discuss the financial scams explained here with your loved ones so that they are also educated and aware.